they increased. People, there was revival when persecution came. And they moved on, preached, more people got saved. Persecution, moved on, preached, more people got saved. This is how, this is how the church grew. And this is how we grow in our battle with the enemy. I'm sorry to tell you, but this Christian walk isn't what people think. It's like a a bed of roses. We must suffer. We will go through persecution. We will struggle. But the Bible says that when they arrived and gathered the church together, they declared all all that God had done with them and how he had opened up the door of faith for the gospel. How many people do you know that need to be reached? How many people do you know that you kind of feel like, should I, should I not, should I, should I not? And if you do, that person there becomes a person that is just going to take the gospel out. So what happens when you preach the gospel? What happens when you proclaim the gospel? I said earlier that this message was for somebody that may be struggling, that may be tired in their walk, that maybe feel like quitting. You know, I've been there. I felt like quitting. I felt like throwing in the towel. But if you throw in the towel, if you quit, how would you know what God has for you? You know, how would you know what tomorrow will bring for you? What, what you might be going through now and tomorrow everything might change. 